Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Budgets. If you are new here, welcome. So in today's video, we will be doing a cash stuffing for the first week of June. Finally, your girl got paid. So I got paid yesterday, like almost at midnight, guys. I think my salary came in at 10 p.m. Um, which kind of like doesn't surprise me, but you know, I think they can do better, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and basically from this paycheck, I have already started to get my salary raise and I also got my bonus. However, I will not be cash stuffing my raise or my bonus. So I did mention in one of my previous videos that the raise that I did get, I will be cash stuffing that for my house that I did purchase. So I'm supposed to save up on that and then hopefully in three years I would be able to use that money and also any additional um, funds that I have um, for my new place. Um, and as for my bonus, I will be leaving that in my account for the time being and Hopefully, I don't know, maybe in the next few videos, I'll be telling you exactly what I am going to be doing with that. Alright, so I'm just going to go straight into the cash stuffing for this week. Uh, we will be cash stuffing 345 ringgit. So this is for the first week of June between the 1st and the 5th so it's a pretty short week um, that I'm cash stuffing and since I'm so used to doing my videos on a Thursday so I really do like my Thursdays um, I will be doing my second video this coming Thursday for the next week of June so basically for this week you'll be seeing two weeks of cash stuffing before I do start this um, I do know that I have some extra cash left over so I am kind of like using my you know conventional old wallet um, and I think I have 100, 120, 30 and 35 ringgit so I have an additional 135 ringgit that I did not use um, and so what I'm going to do is this 5 ringgit I would usually save in my 5 ringgit envelope and for this one I might be rolling it over for the next month probably for anything else that I need um, for my daily expenses like groceries or something like that so that's 130 and I'll just be putting this to the side so I know that you don't see me stuffing my um, cash envelopes um, I think it's a bit boring I don't know but for those of you that are new here I do cash stuff 80 ringgit for my groceries 20 ringgit for my petrol and also and also 10 ringgit for tolls okay so I'm just gonna put this 5 ringgit aside so that I can stuff that into my 5 ringgit envelope later on okay so we have 345 ringgit here and I'm just gonna be placing this into my tray. Okay, so the first binder that I'm gonna start off with is my savings and emergency binder. So um, I will still remain this binder as my savings and emergencies. I know that I did recently purchased some new binders but I'm gonna leave that for later on once I have everything um, set up and our, and the things that I did order arrive so I'll only be using that later on um, I'm guessing it's gonna take a while because the orders that I did do are like they were so international um, so I don't know how fast I'm gonna get those things okay so for emergencies we are gonna stuff a 50 as per usual so now in emergencies we have 500 in the bank so 500 650 and 670 ringgit okay. 
Okay, savings will be getting its usual 30, so that's gonna be an A20 and a 10. So in savings now we have 100. 10 ringgit. All right, so what I do want to do is I'm going to take these ones because I don't like counting them. And let me just exchange that for one of these tens. Okay, so that I don't have to count those ones anymore. Okay, so savings has hit 500 ringgit, so that's amazing. Recovery is going to get its normal 10 ringgit. So now in recovery, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120 ringgit. Okay. Oops. Um, and my envelope. That will be getting a 10 as well. So now in my envelope, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. Okay, so the 15 ring challenge, it will be getting its 10 and 5. Okay, so now in the 15 ringgit challenge, there is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, and 255 ringgit. Alright. Next is the 25 ringgit challenge, and um, that will be getting its 25 ringgit note. So now in the 25 ringgit challenge, we have 950, 70, 90, 310, 230, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 60, 70, 80, 90. 400, 410, 420, 425. Okay, so surely, slowly but surely, that will also be hitting a 500 probably this month. Okay, so for the 30 ringgit challenge, it's gonna get its 20 and 8, 10. So now in the 30 ringgit challenge, we have 100, 200, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 500, and 510. So we also hit another 500 in the 30 ringgit challenge, but I won't be placing placeholders yet. I'll just be um, leaving it in for a while okay so one week extra we'll be getting a 10 for this week so now in one week extra we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 95 ringgit I was thinking if I should have a goal for one week extra and one week extra basically means that you know if anything happens for the week uh, and I don't have enough funds then I can you know use 
the money in here but I don't know if I should cap it at something or just let it grow okay so home emergencies is also gonna get a 10 so now in home emergencies we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 75 ringgit okay all right so that's done for my savings an emergency binder so now let's move on to my sinking funds okay so we're not going to be stuffing everything in my sinking funds folder or binder so that's fine um but for this week in the 5k challenge my 5k challenge will be getting 50 so now in my 5k challenge we have 500 ringgit in the bank 6 Seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand, 900, 1000, and 50 ringgit. Okay, five weekly challenge is gonna get 55 this week. So that's a 55. So now in my 5 weekly challenge, we have 100, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, the next envelope that I'm going to be stuffing is work expenses and that's going to get many ringgit so i'm actually thinking of going to the office this week um yeah so i might be using the funds from here 20 30 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 81 and 82 so now work expenses has 82 ringgit and the final envelope that I'm going to be stuffing is pet supplies and pet supplies will be getting 30 ringgit. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65 and 70 ringgit in pet supplies. Okay, so the five ringgit that I did have left over is gonna go into my five ringgit envelope and I'll show you what I do with you know the one ringgits that I do get occasionally but I do this normally like offline is I would keep them in the this envelope here so this is where i do you know like stash my ones um yeah and i kind of like don't really do this as a cash stuffing because sometimes i do just pick out you know the change from here whenever i need them but this is where i do keep my one ringgit all right guys so that's all for this video um this channel is all about like budgeting sinking funds um cash stuffing and following the day Ramsey's method so i do also follow a lot of the youtubers i've been following them for years already and um they have inspired me to do this type of video as well this type of content so 
when I was looking for um, local content I actually didn't find any that were current I think some of them died off like I think within a year ago so I decided to just like you know pick up and hopefully share and inspire the rest of you guys to do this more locally um, I'm also not sure if I want to do it in another language um, being in Malay uh, Malay is not really my first language even though I am Malay myself um, it's actually my second language my first language is English um, because I did grow up overseas so I'm sorry if I'm not really localizing it at the moment but I will try my best to do that um, and I'm not saying this I'm not saying this to be like oh my god I can only speak English no I do speak Malay but sometimes it does really depend on the setting um, if I'm with my family it's so it's way easier to speak Malay but I do have a northern slang because that's where I'm from so nothing against it but it's just easier when you do speak with with your other family members or friends even um, it comes out more naturally it doesn't seem to come out naturally for me on camera I've tried it and I don't know why but it could be because I do use English 90% of the time like I studied English literature in high school I um, I did English literature in university I worked with MNC companies um, and I'm still working with an MNC companies my bosses are European and I've got like so many multinational <laughs> multinational races in my team that it's just been English all the way so I'm sorry if I'm not localizing it I do wish that I um, will somehow do that in the future I will make, maybe make a dual language um, video we'll see how that goes um, but yeah if you do like this kind of content please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking on the like if you do have any comments do please leave them down below okay so I'll catch you in the next one bye